You can post questions in the comment bar, and because of the 20 second time delay, our answers might be later than expected. Um, for those expecting to see Chad Councilman, he has stepped down from his EC obligations to help recyclers in Australia. Everyone at ARA wishes Chad a successful year in the land down under. Um, myself, Scott Robertson, will fulfill Chad's term as president, as interim president for ARA, and then continue next year as president for my scheduled term. Jonathan Morrow, immediate past president, will assist me in ARA's presidential obligations. We are up to the task and ARA will continue representing and serving the entire automotive recycling industry without limitations. Um, we have identified an issue that our industry needs to address, facility fires, and second Vice President Marty Hollingshead will address us um, about these issues and the fires and um, how they're harmful to the industry. Go ahead, Marty. Okay, well, first of all, uh, the most recent one, you had k and in Rhode Island, and you also had uh, the pro, uh, scrap processor up in Becker, Minnesota, recently. Uh, these fires are getting a lot of attention, and our fear is, is that we're going to fall under scrutiny by the regulators, and uh, they're going to start telling us how to run our businesses. Uh, you also had one from a political standpoint. There was a uh, fire up in uh, Oregon, and it was in the district of the Speaker of the House up there. So it's important that we look at this and see how these fires are being created and what we need to do to keep it controllable. Uh, for all of us, we're, besides the regulations, we're going to be looking at increased costs for insurance. Uh, where is property damage, and we all pay for this. We are, uh, we're going, we're through ARA, we've just, uh, we just uh, entered an agreement with NFPA for doing some training on ARA University, as well as with G.J. Sullivan, the insurance carrier, to where we're going to be doing some training modules on loss prevention and how to be a better and a safer operator. Uh, some of these fires, uh, you know, there's been a lot of topics about batteries and uh, lithium ion batteries going off that may be the cause of some of these fires, especially at the scrap processors. Uh, we're looking at getting us in, the, in, in ARA University, we are looking to have in the training modules, hopefully we can get locations on the batteries from the OEMs on all of the car, where the locations are on these batteries on all the cars. You have a lot of modules, you could have up to 17 of them that uh, can have a lithium ion battery in them now. Question is gonna be, are we gonna have to be, are we gonna need to identify the location on these and are we gonna be responsible for, for removing them? Like we have in the past with mercury switches. Uh, all of this is going to be shaken out, but the batteries obviously are a hot topic. And uh, Jonathan, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, take over on the battery issue? Well, um, before that, Marty, um, I'd like to make a, a statement. Uh, I mean, we could possibly be the, the most misunderstood industry in the country. Uh, people don't know what we do. Politicians don't know what we do. And... Um, Unless we come up to some sort of standards within our industry, um, the legislators and, and policymakers are going to make them for us. Um, we we need to do a better job. We need to de be more diligent. And um, ARA has just recently entered into a joint uh, committee with ISRI for um, figuring out figuring figuring out what we're going to do with these batteries. Um, we're going to fight legislation together. And it's our belief that um, we're far stronger working as a team than working uh, individually on this. And with that, Jonathan, why don't you, uh, why don't you, um, I'm going to pass the torch to you. And why don't you have a couple of words to say about, about ARAU? That sounds good. Thanks. I appreciate it, Scott and Marty, uh, for setting the stage. You know, last year when, when we kind of introduced the ARA University as becoming a member benefit, we really uh, tried to get together to, to figure out what is, what are the things that we need to tackle as an association on behalf of our members? And as Marty and Scott both talked about, 
um, we were kind of given these, this problem of fires. And this is not a new problem. It's just becoming more and more um, prevalent in our industry and in the related industries that surround us. So the first module that we started working on, and we, we formed a committee um, to look into this module, and that's a deep polluting module. And, and, and granted, it may not it may not look exactly how each one of the recyclers in the industry does it, but it's going to give a baseline of what ARA is recommending um, on how to depollute vehicles as they come into our facilities. And obviously, that's one of the main areas that uh, fires can be created, right? It can be created in our shops as we're taking apart cars. And, and um, so that's that's one of the modules we're, we're working on. The second one that is um, that's really exciting is that um, I know a lot of us has ha have had the privilege of hearing Andy Latham speak at you know, the associations conference at state conferences or specifically just uh, for their industry, um, for their for their business, sometimes the managements even bring um, bring Andy in to talk about batteries and hybrid batteries and his his uh, background and understanding how and what to do with batteries in the vehicles as we move to the electric car rapidly or more electric vehicles. So ARA is pleased to announce that we have, um, that we've signed a contract with Andy Latham to, uh, to produce a hybrid, hybrid and electric vehicle um, a dismantling guide. This guide will be uh, downloadable. It'll also be available on the university in time to, it, down the road. Uh, this is gonna be part of a three part um, setup we're working with Andy. It's gonna be over the course of a couple years. It's gonna, the first thing we're really working on too is it's a resource guide that allow us to search by year, make and model, uh, where are the batteries located and how to remove them safely. Um, you know, Andy, if you know Andy and, you, and you've just been around him, you know two things. One, he's very knowledgeable. And two, he really cares. He cares about um, this industry and about us doing things the right way. And it's going to be vital moving forward um, in our environment. So the second thing as it comes to batteries, I mean, batteries is, 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 is and will continue to be a hot topic for us as, um, as, as processors of vehicles, but also as just as the more and more these cars become electrified. And if you don't know this is coming, uh, you need to be, you need to know it's coming because you've got this, um, you've got all the OEM, OEMs across the global platform are racing and putting all their R&D money into the electric car. Um, and so I don't know if you guys read the publication, there's a publication called Automotive News and so many articles are about the amount of money that these people are, are these OEs are putting towards the R&D for electric cars. So with that being said, it is also really exciting that I can say that ARA um, has been working directly with several OEs and other industry stakeholders to assure that we have the available information as it, uh, the information available as it comes on online. See, um, we are working with the Suppliers Partnership, which is an innovative partnership between the global automakers and their suppliers. Um, and this was brought to our attention it was we were able to be at the table with these people because of some meetings that that, that marty um was able to attend with the land our government affairs our vp of government affairs and sandy at, at both argon labs and the doe resale center and um, at these events we made contacts with the oes and who were interested in working with us to assure that the proper uh we had the proper way of handling the, the ev batteries at the end of their life of the vehicles um as a result of those meetings like I said, the connections are starting to take place. We're starting to actually get to some, get some groundwork and get some traction with these OEs on, on how to find the hybrid batteries and electric, uh, electric batteries in these vehicles and how to, uh, how to handle them appropriately. And, and it's really exciting to know that uh, in April in Detroit, Sandy's going to have an opportunity to present at this um, suppliers, suppliers partnership meeting in Detroit, Michigan with these OEs, OEMs present. Um, so with that, I'll just say that we're making headway for you and we're making headway because it's what we need to do. And it's the connections and the relationships that need to take place. And I can just tell you the ARAs, um, we're making it happen. And that's a really awesome to be able to present, present that to you. So that's kind of where we are in the modules. We're going to have more modules coming online the next couple of months, but like anything in life, if you look at your business things, we have great ideas and great thoughts, but they take place. Uh, it takes, it takes some time to get these things rolling out. Um, so, Scott, I hope that's a good update for you guys. And uh, that's great. Thank you, thank you, um, Jonathan. Now I'm going to have you. Um, we're going to turn it over to Sandy Blaylock, ARA Executive Director. She's going to give an update on how ARA and state affiliates are battling the OEM repair procedure legislation. Go ahead, Sandy. Hi, everybody. It's been a very busy year. 
uh, as you can imagine. And thank God for all of my uh, engaged auto recyclers. And I hope a lot of you are on there today listening to how proud ARA is of uh, working with each and every one of you in all the states where we face this battle head on. Uh, of course, we did have the New Hampshire bill, which many of you know was the only bill that actually passed the process last year, but luckily got uh, vetoed by the governor. That identical bill came back up again, again this year. And uh, through the efforts of all of our uh, affiliate chapters in New Hampshire and the recyclers there that were highly engaged, uh, I think we seem to found some common ground that maybe we can agree to that we can possibly uh, make these bills go away in the future. So we did, we finally just sat down with everybody and said, what do you really want? And I, I think we've uh, agreed to, to some uh, a, a viable solution. Hasn't been put to pin yet, but we're certainly working on it. Uh, the other one in Washington state, very similar bill, basically all vehicles being repaired to OEM procedures. Luckily through all of uh, ARA's efforts and all of our uh, recyclers in the state of Washington, that bill uh, actually did not make it out of uh, committee and has died for the year, so that's one less we have to fight. Uh, we also had another bill in Connecticut, and the Connecticut bill was a little bit different in that they wanted to restrict uh, for the first five years of a vehicle that only OEM uh, new parts would be put on those uh, vehicles. Uh, that hearing was just um, on Tuesday, and I have some good news. I think that possibly that bill has been defeated and will not be moving. I uh, don't know that for sure, but uh, we do have, uh, we are hopeful that that bill will not continue to move this year. Uh, another type of bill that we're seeing, and, and of course we have a couple other states that are working on that, but another bill that we are seeing happen uh, around the company, around the country, I, I mean, is the um, electric vehicle battery recycling. Uh, we really don't want these bills to move forward because there's not enough infrastructure in place. And of course, we've got to be able to have some feedback into how that's going to be hap happening. But uh, they're starting to name uh, lithium ion battery specialty environmental components and that they may only be disposed at a recycling facility that's approved by the state. Uh, the worst part of that bill was that there was an 85 cent per 0.85 kilograms of battery weight uh, that, that they've decided that that's what these batteries are going to be called. And just for reference sake, a Tesla battery weighs 540 kilograms. So the tax on just that battery, if you sold that battery, would be $459 that you would actually pay to the state of Arizona. Um, and then the, the most troubling part of, of this was that the owner of the component at the time of its disposal shall return the specialty environmental component or lithium ion battery to its manufacturer. So we're gonna definitely be fighting this bill in Arizona. I think there's not enough uh, information available. We need to make sure that uh, this one does not move forward. Uh, if you wanna keep apprised of all the state legislation that's going on, please join us on Mondays at three o'clock Eastern. Uh, that's when we have our weekly state legislative update calls. Uh, if you are not on those calls or you've not uh, had access to those calls, please uh, give me a call at the ARA headquarters and we'll make sure we get you on the, uh, on the list to, to be added to those calls. And uh, lastly, I want to remember, remind everybody that April 28th and 29th is our annual ARA Hill Days. Uh, this year we'll be hosting it at the Hyatt Regency in Crystal City, uh, just outside Washington, D.C. So we hope that you'll... Uh, plan to join us at uh, ARA Hill Days this year. And I'll turn it back to Scott. Okay, great, Sandy. And, and um, I'd also like to say that I, I hope to see everybody down at Hill Days. If you can't show, that's fine. Um, but we have identified um, maybe a chink in the OEM's armor that we're going to attack and we're, we can't come out with it right now. But our Government Affairs Committee has um, approved it and um, stay tuned because um, at Hill Days, there's going to be a big ask for all, all of our um, people hitting the hills. Um, so now I'm going to turn it over to, um, to Shan McMillan, our secretary, and she will update our March travel schedule and meetings. Okay, right. thanks, Scott. One, one second, Shan, I just have a little something to say. Oh, um, 
Prior to joining the EC, I was unaware of ARA's extensive representation of the industry interests with governmental agency meetings, industry, industry conferences, committee calls, member meetings, and event planning. Um, Shan will share some of our March schedule. Go ahead, Shan. Oh yeah, so that's very true what Scott just said. And um, so I'm just gonna go over some of that with you pretty quickly. But I just wanna say Vince is really great about posting on Facebook what we're up to. And sometimes it looks glamorous and exciting, but that doesn't really always depict the true story of what we've been up to and what we're working on. And there is a lot, let me tell you. So I just wanna give you an idea of some of the things that we are currently working on. Um, this month, uh, uh, you probably all saw that Vince traveled to um, each EC member's home state and went around visiting um, recyclers that are not members of ARA. So that was a lot of fun. And we had some really good results, which Vince will go over that with you guys in a little bit. Um, we've got a lot of traveling coming up here in March. Wanted to re review that with you. Uh, March 11th through the 13th. Actually, none of the EC will be traveling, but we're actually going to have Andy Latham uh, attend for us the International Automotive Recycling Congress that's in Europe, uh, March the 13th to, to the 14th. Marty will attend the Greater Midwest Automotive Recycling Show, and that's in Grand Island, Nebraska. March 13th and 14th, the Greater Midwest Show is happening. Oh, I'm sorry, I already did that one. Um, March 13th, the Carolina Auto Recyclers in Raleigh, North Carolina. Sandy will be there at that one representing. March 27th and 28th, Aura in Ontario. And I will have um, the privilege to go with Scott and attend that show. So I'm super excited about that. Aside from the traveling, there are a lot of calls that we participate on every week, you know, multiple calls a week. There are a lot of committees. The EC tries to participate in as many of those calls as possible, um, especially the legislative calls that are so important for us to all stay abreast of. Some of those committee calls that, that we participate on are the governmental affairs, state legislative calls, um, the convention committee, which is led by Natalie Miller and Becky Berube, um, the Car Gold Seal Committee, which is discussing the standards for certification, past certification systems um, to, for self-auditing, so much going into that, the mentorship program, the ARAU um, committee for uh, creating and updating the modules for ARAU. There's really a lot going on and it takes a lot of our time, but you know, we, we love it. We love our industry as much as you guys do. And so we're, we're excited and we're happy that we're able to do that, but um, not all glamorous. So I just wanted to make sure everybody knows that. And um, I wanted to go over with you, excuse me, I've been a little under the weather. Um, what our lobbyist, Delina, we have a full-time lobbyist that represents recyclers and she stays super busy in DC and even, you know, traveling to the States and working with a whole lot of different groups. And some of those um, things that Delina does on our behalf is she has meetings with the senators, you know, in DC, Senator Markey, um, you know, and the staff on the NITS and Data Access Coalition, Rep Representative Shemkus, you know, in World um, Behind vehicle recycling day recognition and house house resolution just various staff meetings with um, lots of people in dc um, she meets with the access to data coalition every two weeks to discuss legislation that would allow vehicle owners access to their data the global access to data coalition monthly calls and the introduction of arc to the coalition um, the suppliers partnership which somebody already mentioned which was so important for us uh, ISRI calls that she participates on, the legislative advisory groups, house energy and commerce hearings that she attends um, on autonomous vehicles. She tracks all potential bills that could affect us on a federal level that uh, have anything to do with the autonomous vehicles or anything really to do with the recycling. Um, EPA, she meets with them regularly and, and stays on top of what's going on as far as the lithium ion battery transportation and storage. We don't, we don't want anything put through that's gonna hurt us, right? And we want to make sure that we have a voice and that we're at the table when those decisions are being made. Mobility Talks International, um, the pre-Washington Park Show, two days worth of policy meetings with the OEMs. Automotive Recyclers of Canada, she has regular calls with them just to uh, discuss activities and coordination of the areas of mutual interest. There's really a lot that goes on. And so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of, of an idea of what all is happening. And um, we spend a lot of our time dedicated to these different different meetings and calls and causes and um, it's fun but it's a lot of work so and I just did want to say too if anybody has any interest in participating we would love to have volunteers and we have a lot of great volunteers that have been involved for many years on the different committees but we are always looking for fresh ideas and fresh people to, to get involved just contact any one of us we would love to, to 
get get you hooked up with a committee that fits your interests. So anyway, with that being said, I'll turn it back over to Scott. <coughs> Sandy, there was a question that was uh, posed to us. Uh, why don't you uh, answer that? Okay, uh, Mike Swift uh, wanted to, had a question regarding uh, the recalls, and you also had a question on the uh, build sheet da data. So Mike Swift asked, do we have a program uh, that we that we can integrate into our YMS that will uh, show both parts that are recalled? Uh, and when will we have our next sit down with NHTSA? Um, Mike, we have regular sit downs with NHTSA. I don't know that that's necessarily getting us anywhere, but just so you know, there is a solution uh, available through uh, NSVRP, which is the, the organization that um, Howard Nussbaum has been working with. Uh, he has all the manufacturers except for Mercedes and Tesla. He uh, hopes to have Mercedes here shortly, uh, and we're working with Tesla to see if we can, can work that from our side. Uh, but that is available through, through an API feed uh, that we have actually given to all of the um, management systems. We are just waiting for them to integrate it into their uh, system. So if you're still waiting for that, it might be uh, advisable for you to actually call your management system and ask them when they intend to uh, integrate that to their system. Uh, just for reference, this is the exact same system that Mike Lambert has been using in the Buddy system, and it's been working just fine. So uh, we're definitely concerned that uh, we haven't gotten those integrated into the management systems. And then your other question on the build sheet data, which is obviously a federal issue, uh, we continue to work on that, and we hope by the time we go have Hill Days this year, Mike, that we will have uh, a much better message to tell you on that. So we are working that, and, and Delan is working that issue hard on the Hill right now. That's it. Back to you. Uh, okay, great. And now, um, I hope everybody knows who, who Vince is. Um, Vince is the director, director of our member relations, and he's going to give us a, a member update. Vince has been doing a great job for us. He came on full time uh, with ARA about uh, four to six months ago, and uh, he's been a great addition and a great team member. And uh, he's 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 paying back uh, the payback's huge. Go ahead, Vince. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate the introduction. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you've been on Facebook, obviously you are because you're watching us now on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the activity, uh, us uh, traveling around, myself traveling around and visiting recyclers. Um, we have, oh, since our conference in um, October, we've signed up just, just in the efforts alone outside of that, we've signed up over almost 40 new members uh, since no, since the beginning of November until till today, um, so I, I can tell you without a doubt, one of the things that works most effectively is when I am able to partner with uh, somebody who is I would consider or call an influencer, somebody who is well known. Any of the executive committee members, I can I can ride with, and I have. Uh, I'll be, to be perfectly honest with you, when I walk into a recycler, 99% uh, of the time, they don't know who I am. And you guys have done a great job at training your counter people. I do not get past them. But when I walk into your uh, store with somebody like Scott or Shan or Marty or Jono, or, or I was out with Chad last week, uh, you know, these guys walk right past the counter, right into the on owner or general manager's office, and, and, and it's a great way to get our message, because unless I can get past that, I'm not getting the message of ARA so, uh, to the people who need to hear it. So, um, kind of brings me to my next thing. We're, we're actually launching a contest, and we're starting right now. Uh, we're going to launch it, uh, and it's basically our, our membership drive slash convention pass conference so starting today and it will go until august 31st um, we will have a contest to see who can generate the most referrals for membership so if you have a referral and you send me a referral 
and I sign that per, I convert that from a referral to an actual membership, doesn't matter, it can be um, associate member or a direct member, uh, then you get credit for that you know, in the contest. And whoever has the most, we're gonna actually pick the top three. So the first prize winner will get two passes for our conference coming up in Reno uh, this year, two flights, round trip airfare, and one hotel room. So hopefully those two people like each other. Uh, so uh, then our second prize is two passes for the conference and a hotel room. And then third prize is gonna be two passes for our conference. So we're having, we're running that conf, we're running that contest uh, and the first, second and third uh, highest um, producing referral people will win, will be, all three will be awarded uh, uh, under those circumstances. So if you have any questions, just, uh, you know, please reach out to me, you know, I can, I can, I can respond through Facebook Messenger or directly on our Facebook page, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. If any of you are interested in in having me come and you spend a day with me, and I and I go out and ride with you, I would love to do that. Jim Butler just last week was uh, kind enough to do that. We signed up a few people, and that was a great day. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't have to be just the executive committee. Anybody who who's hearing me. Uh, if you if you want to partner up for a day and go visit a bunch of recyclers, uh, I am all in, and I would love to do that. And ultimately, if if you win the contest, you'll be helping us with ARA, and we'll I'll come out and help you win the contest. So I would love to do that. Um, so if you haven't, uh, if you're a member of ARA, we are new. You should have. That's probably looking backwards. If uh, but you should have gotten this in the mail this week, and you should have gotten. Our, our latest edition of our magazine, which has lots of really great articles in there by really smart people. So uh, to, if you take, get a chance to read through that, there's a lot of good stuff in there. So um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Well, great. Vince, that, that, that's great. And I look forward to, um, to a lot of road tours with you, with people that want to win, want to win that contest. And if you ride with Vince and sign people up, that goes towards your tally. So hopefully Vince will get a lot of, um, invites to go for road tours with. Uh, another thing that we'd, uh, that we're really, really gonna push for this year with ARA is to updating our database. Um, lots of times our emails only go out to one individual at a, at a company uh, where those emails should go out to four, five, maybe six people in that company. Um, so we'd like you to notify us, contact Vince or contact the office and tell us where those emails should be pointed to. Hopefully they're not going to dead ends and um, we really wanna share our, 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 our information and our knowledge and, and help the industry. Um, now, um, Vince, are there any questions that came through on Facebook that we need to answer? Uh, no, I'm looking at I'm looking at it uh, as we speak. Um, I know that there's a 20 or 30 second delay with Facebook, so I'm just going to say if anybody has any additional questions, I appreciate Mike Swift for chiming in and asking some really good questions. Um, we just uh, we you know this is everybody's opportunity uh, to 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 ask questions for, of me, of any of the executive committee, of Sandy, and uh, we want to you know. Make sure you have that opportunity. So with the delay that occurs, we'll make sure to give an extra 20 or 30 seconds before we close out to make sure if somebody asks a question, we catch it. But right now there, um, there aren't any. Yeah. Great. And um, we'd like to ask everybody to, uh, to share our, our town hall. Uh, we're gonna share this for the public, people outside of our industry. Like I said, that we are probably the most un misunderstood industry in the country. Um, even my friends don't even understand what I do. I, I bet you, you know, my, my in-laws don't understand fully what I, what I do and what we sell or how much we, we recycle. Um, and, you know, I tell my friends that I'm, I recycle more in one day than they'll probably recycle in a lifetime. And, and, and they don't believe me. And I say, well, let's, let's do the math. Um, but, um, you know, th thanks for um, tuning in. Vince, any, any questions? 
No, no. Okay. Car Park took a shot. Is taking a shot at me about my road games, but uh, I, I trust me, Car Park. I will be brushed up on my road games, and uh, I will be out there crushing it. You can count on it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yes. Hey, Scott, just real quick, just just to remind everybody, as we come into a season where we're getting a lot of shows coming up, and just if you see us or you need anybody from ARA, reach out to staff at ARA.org and, um, and shoot them an email. Our staff is great. And if you know um, if you know anything about it, all of us, we are all willing and able to answer the phone at any time or answer an email to help you guys out, to answer questions, and uh, do whatever we can to promote the industry. And the industry is the guy uh, – the the, the operation has two employees and the operation has got a thousand employees. So, so we're here for you. We always will be. And um, Scott, thanks for stepping up and taking the ball and running with it for next year. I really, uh, really appreciate it. Not having to be me. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, Scott. Thank you. thanks everyone. Well, uh, in closing, um, Scott, I, yes. Hey, b before you close out, I just mm -hmm. want to encourage everybody. We're getting some, some really positive feedback right now about this format uh, people are, you know, people are chiming in and saying they think this is great. So uh, we want to hear from everybody. So do us a favor, drop a comment, hit the like button, share it to you. Like Scott mentioned, share it to your personal page. This is a way of getting the message out about what we do. But, but we really want to know if this format is working for you guys. Um, we're, pro we're probably going to uh, we are recording this and I'm probably, if everything works right, I'm going to, I'm going to upload this to our YouTube channel. So it'll be on there. I'll create a, a channel on our, I'll create a place on our YouTube channel just for ARA town hall meetings. And I think we have one other one up there, but, um, but yeah, we, so we want to make sure that we're, we're choosing the best platform to reach the most people and, and create the most engagement for you guys. So leave us comments and let us know. The YouTube channel is Automotive Recyclers Association on YouTube. You just Google that. I mean, look that up on YouTube, on YouTube and it'll be there. Those are all great ideas, Vince. Thank you. Hey, Scott. Yes. One thing before we close. <clears throat> what everybody needs to remember here is this association represents all auto recyclers. Everybody benefits from it, whether they're a member or not. The important thing to remember here is an association is only as strong as its membership and its participation. Scott brought up a good point. We do a terrible job of telling our story. This is why we're trying to get, we need to educate the rest of the world as to what we do. Getting to what Scott said, we're probably the most misunderstood industry that there is out there. We need everybody, if we're gonna remain fragmented, we're not gonna get this done. We all need to come together as a group and we all need to tell our story with one clear, loud voice. That's all I had to say, Scott. Thanks, Marty. Those are, those are great words. You always have good words to say, Marty. Well, uh, in closing, um, I speak for the entire executive committee and staff at ARA in thanking you for allowing us the privilege of representing the industry and protecting your ability to operate as an automobile recycler. Thank you for viewing our town hall and we look forward to our next town hall in March. Thank you, everyone. Right, Thank thanks, you. Everybody. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.